So here's our update to our update. Yes. We have finished our critter pens. Yes. So we're going to give you a little tour. You want to be the Vanna White of the farm? Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. What do we ba -da -ba. got? Goat pen. Nope. Goat and pig pen. Goat and pig pen. Male goat and pig pen. Mainly pig pen. We have little Aries here and his yeah. goat and the pig little, pen. Little Aries has gotten so sweet. He just loves being petted. Yeah. Little, little Hansel. Hansel's always coming over to get his little nose booted. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. These are the men of the pig pen. Or men of the farm, really. Men of the farm. Oh, and there's Charlotte. Charlotte's over there. Yeah. She's by the door because she smells pumpkins. That's their house. And Aries likes to go in there and snuggle with the pigs. Yeah, they all, they all hang around together. All right. Get them. Shorty right there getting ready to pounce on Rocky. Pick his butt. Doop. <laughs> and Striped Edge is going to join in. Maybe not. The newest one is our aviary. Da -na -na. And everybody is here. We got Lister, Tough Nut and Rough Nut, Roderick, the Red Rooster, Crichton, the Golden Hen, and then no, that's not a chicken. It's Pompadour the Peacock. Pompadour. The Pompadou. latest edition. Pompadour. He, he's just hanging out. Pompadour. Pompadour kind of likes his new digs. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have the big shed in there. And I'm going to go inside and show everybody why we have the big shed in there. Okay, on this side... We have nesting boxes for the for the hens and there's lots of space for all the birds to get inside out of the rain. And that's stuff back there are beehives, incubator, uh, goat milking stand, all things waiting for me to put them together. Then on this side, that's just a regular storage shed. It's got all tools, workbenches, um, all the parts for my Harley even parts for an extra Harley if I decide to build another one. We put all of these swinging perches. swinging perches in here yesterday thinking they'd be fun for the chickens and for Pompadou. Pompadou's got this nice big one over here. As of last night, the only one that actually uses them to any real degree of participation is Lister. Lister gets up on Pompadou's. And Lister and Pompadou squabble. Yeah, they squabble a lot. These are our pumpkins that we're raising. We're raising tiny pumpkins now. We've been breeding them, as you can tell. These are the pumpkins that we give to the animals as a snack. We got them for about a quarter piece on after Halloween sale. Quarter piece. They don't go bad because they've never actually been carved. Um, we got them right after Halloween. It's December now. We've used about half of them. And just chop them up and toss them in and yeah, just, everybody loves them. Just grab a couple every week or so, cut them in half, cut them in pieces, whatever, throw them in for all the critters. The goats love them, pigs love them, the chickens even love them. So yeah. winner, winner, pumpkin dinner. And finally over here, over here, the female goat enclosure. Female goats in their paddock. All the ladies, say hi. Lucy, Lucy right there, that's her daughter Wendy. Say hi. Here comes Annie and Annie comes over and everybody runs away because Annie is a little bit of a bitch. She's a butthead. She likes to headbutt everybody, so she is a butthead. She gets these horns and she grabs everybody with the horns and the horns, the horns. And she doesn't like Can when I have the ear? touch her horns. Can I have the ear? Her horns. I can have the ear? Can I have the beard? Give me that beard. Give me that beard. Annie. Yeah, she's not being friendly. Way down there, the little itty bitty one, that's Daisy. She's Annie's daughter. Annie even headbutts her. Oh, and we're thinking that Lucy might be expecting some more kids. Yeah, Lucy has. Yeah? She said, yeah. Come here, Lucy. 
Lucy. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come get food. No, I got food right here. It is, no, I didn't see you put anything in your hand. Nah. Yeah, they might have shifted around. They look like but they're more on her right side today. Lucy is very, very wide and she can hardly walk. She just kind of waddles. waddles around. Yeah. Looking not so happy with life. But that's how it goes. Those are their tire towers. They climb on those. The chickens used to climb down in them yeah, too. Yeah, one of the chickens would climb in there and lay eggs in there. The goats have, I can't really get in here to show you how much room they have. It's, um, their paddock right now is 20 feet, 20 feet wide and 40 feet long. Eventually, we're gonna take this big branch right here and that other branch over there that's hanging over this area and we're gonna go back right about where Brooke's standing and that'll add another 40 feet on in length so they'll have 20 by 80 foot paddock. But this will keep them secure while we go to Florida because we have to go to Florida very soon. Yeah. So that's the latest from the tiny farm. All our critters are secure except for the cats and... They're a lost they're, cause. Yeah, they're pretty much retarded. Uh, there's four of them here now. The mother showed up. Well, well, they stay in the house with you. They do come inside with me a lot, so that could explain some things. Yeah. They. Uh, so they live with us, kind of. They, they're they're like some kind of weird uh, romantic thing. They come in the house and snuggle up at night, and then during the day they act like, "Who the hell are you?" Yeah. So, I don't know. And there Except they are for in the background. Shorty's my little girl. Shorty's <laughs> Shorty's over there going, "Hey, hey, hey! Put me on camera! Put me on camera!" Yeah. <laughs> so that's it from the tiny farm for yep. now. We will talk to you all again soon. Yay! Bye. Bye. And this is why we didn't put Shorty on camper. She put her on camera, herself. she starts licking herself. <laughs>